Okay, you've had time to read the problem. Basically, I'm starting over here and I'm swimming up to over here and the river's going that way. So if the river's going that way, if I swim directly across, I'm gonna end up down here. If I swim up towards that point, the river's gonna pull me down, I'm gonna end up somewhere over here. So I'm gonna probably have to swim up quite a steep angle. So the first thing I gotta do is figure out what my givens are. Um, in order to do that, I need to know what angle is this at, because this is the resultant. The result is I want to go from here to here, but I don't swim that way. That's my resultant direction. Okay, so I need to know what that angle is, and there's a little triangle there, and it's 480, so that angle that I need the resultant to be, I can use the inverse tan of 80 divided by 400, and I get that angle is 11 degrees. It's 11.3, but we're going to round it off. Um, so this angle here, I'm going to mark it on here, is 11 degrees. So this person's swimming and the water's moving. The result is made up of what the water's doing and what the swimmer is doing. And that gives us my result. So I look at this and I think, what do I know? Well, I know where I end up. So that tells me the direction of the result. The result must be west 11 degrees north. I know what the water is doing. It was just given directly in the question. The water is going um, at 0 0.8 meters per second south. And the swimmer, I know, can swim at 3 meters per second. The question is, which way does the swimmer go? If the swimmer goes this way, they're not going to end up at the right place. So I'm looking for this direction. And I might also want to know how long the trip takes and all that, but we can figure that out later. So what's the result in velocity? We don't know. We're not told that the swimmer is going to end up traveling any specific speed. So I look at this and I think, well, I haven't got everything for VR and I haven't got everything for the swimmer, but I got half of this and half of this. And that makes me think, oh, it's one of those ones where it's going to be a triangle and I got to try and figure it out. Um, so let's write down our equation. VR west 11 degrees north equals 0 0.8 south plus 3 meters per second, I don't need the units there, at some angle. So all I got to do is solve this triangle and I can find the direction of the 3 and I can find out how fast I'm going in the actual result, which is useful for finding out the time. Okay. So I've got to make a triangle out of this. It's not like our regular ones where we just draw this, break it in components, draw this, break it in components, and add them up and find the resultant. I've got to sort of finagle it a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a triangle, and I'm going to say, OK, 0 0.8 south plus 3. I know that this plus this 3 in some direction, and I don't quite know which direction that is, but in some direction, that plus that 3 has got to hit this line. So here, I'm going to draw west, 11 north. So this plus this 3 has got to hit that line. So I know that this goes like that. And this line represents VR. So I've got the makings of a triangle here. I know this little angle is 11 degrees. And I know this has got to be 90 degrees, because this is west, 11 north. So I'm going to make the triangle again, just as a triangle, just to keep things simple. There's the triangle I'm working with. This is 90 plus um, 11 is 101. So this is 101 degrees. Um, I know this is 0 0.8, and I know this is 3. So there's my triangle. I have two sides and an angle. So I'm going to have to figure out uh, what is this angle? See this 3? The angle for this 3 is the angle I'm looking for. Which way do I go to get there? So I'm going to use sine law. And I can say that sine of this angle over this side is going to equal the sine of an angle over another side. I've got this side, which means I'm going to be able to find out this angle. It's not really the angle I want, 
But if I get this angle, and I know this is 101 degrees, I can solve for this just using that 180 degrees minus that minus that equals that. Okay, so let's do that. So we're going to say, um, so I'm going to check something. We're going to say sine of 101, sine of 101 over 3 equals sine of this angle over 0 0.8. I rearrange that and I get that that angle is, and I get rid over there somewhere, 15 degrees. I now know that angle is 15 degrees. Well, if that angle is 15 degrees, the angle I really want is 180 minus that 15, 180 minus this 15, minus this 101, minus 101, equals, um, Sixty-four degrees. So I know this angle now. Sixty-four degrees. So the direction I have to go is north sixty-four west. There's the angle at which I have to go. Okay. The next part is how long does the trip take? Well, if I want the actual time of the trip, I got to use the resultant velocity. So I also need this number here. In order to find that velocity, I can use the same idea, the sine rule. I can say sine of 101 over 3 is equal to sine of this side over this angle I found, 64. So I say sine 101 over 3 equals sine of 64 over VR, because this side is VR. So I solve for that, and I get VR equals 2.7 meters per second. So VR is 2.7 meters per second. So if I want to find the time, the time of the trip is how far did I travel, and how fast was I traveling? So D over V. So the distance was... Uh, oh, we never figured out that distance. So what I got to do is I got to figure out this distance here. This is 400. This is 80. So I take 400 squared plus 80 squared, take the square root, and I get this is 408 meters. So I take 408, the actual distance from here to here, and I divide by how fast I'm going from there to there. 2.7 and the trip takes 151 seconds.